everyone, my name is Nancy Taylor from HeyNancyTaylor.com and on this channel you will see videos about teaching online, growing your brand, and becoming the best version of you. And in today's video, we get to do a little behind the scenes. You to come with me, it's a vlog style. I'm gonna show you a content creation day, so that means I'm gonna show you how I'm batching content for Instagram Reels, and it's my first time making them, so it'll be very interesting. And then I'll also be showing you how I batch content for YouTube. This is what you're watching right now. That's what I'm gonna show you. <laughs> so with no further ado, let's jump in to the video. I'm taking you behind the scenes today. I always like to see what is the content strategy, what goes on behind the scenes, what is the work schedule, workload, and so you get a sneak peek into a work day. So it is the afternoon. We did all our morning things with preschool and getting the kids ready and then doing Zoom and then doing online school. So it's about 1.20 and Dave's going to be watching the kids for six hours. Six? Till this evening, we're gonna go to an amusement park. So I have a full work day and I'm going to be creating content. I'm going to be creating on my phone. So I'll be doing some Instagram content and then I'll also be doing uh, some YouTube. So I usually film my YouTube with a Canon 80D and I use this Sigma 30 millimeter. It's all linked below this video at 1.4. And I love this. I love the lens. It gives you a good blurry background. I'm filming this on a Canon G7X, if you're wondering. I always like to know, what are they using? <laughs> and this camera has been having auto focus issues. Oh, I'll film an entire series and it doesn't work or like it'll cut out my audio. This is my audio. It's a road mic. So I have a new camera coming. It's a mirrorless Canon and I have a very similar lens. It's a 16 millimeter though. So wider lens. Yay. I can do it in a smaller area, smaller space. I can hand hold it and it's still a 1.4. It's a Sigma. I'm using a Canon. I'll let you know an update. If you would like to know my equipment, let me know in the description box and I'll go over all my equipment in a video. Just on its own. But let's jump into the content creation. Reels is the thing right now, so Instagram I'm going to be making a couple reels. I've already scripted them all out, all ready to go. I've already highlighted the songs they want to do, and then I will be filming YouTube videos. I usually do two to four. We're gonna shoot for two today since I have two <laughs> things I'm doing. Some days I do four. It's a lucky day, and I have to start much earlier. So we're hoping to, to bust out two videos and hope for no tech issues. Okay, we're going to expect to tech issues. So <laughs> we're using a new camera. So my family, Dave and the kids are going to pick up my camera. Awesome! It's at the UPS store because we weren't here yesterday to pick it up. Oops. Uh oh. Okay, let's jump into the video. If you are ready to take the next steps in building your own profitable YouTube channel, then be sure to check the link in the description box as we are taking students for a limited time right now for our signature course, Beyond Teaching Online. This program not only teaches you how to set up your YouTube channel and build your brand from scratch, but also how to monetize your efforts. What is the business side behind having a profitable YouTube channel? It is specifically created for online teachers just like yourself. We hope that we can serve you inside the program. Oh hey, it's me over here with my computer and my face. <laughs> Before I start filming my content, I am uploading a video. I do have an editor that edits my videos, Create in a Late, amazing, I'll link it below. And so I am uploading this video and then I send out an email to let people know that the video content, what it is, if it is helpful for them. And then I'm going to be emailing also my affiliates, letting them know that a launch is coming up. So I do have a little bit of work I'm going to do before I jump into filming. So you get to watch me type on the computer, <laughs> B-roll. <laughs> okay, so just to explain what I'm doing right now, I've uploaded my YouTube video and I always, I review my video, I'll watch through it and I'll put any links that I want to include and then I'll also put timestamps if I want to put chapters into my video, which is a new thing on YouTube, cool. And then I will put like iCards at 1814, put the iCard for this specific link because in the video I'll say, check the iCard around the side, this side, no. I always do the wrong side, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but with the iCard, I wanna know exactly what time it's at so I can go in and on the upload, I just already have it right here. So it is efficient. I don't have to watch it again. It's already done, already reviewed it. Ready to go. Special delivery. My husband just brought this in. He's taking the kids to the park. So, we're gonna test out this Canon EOS M6 Mark II. And when you start looking at cameras, there's so many options. Hopefully you guys wanna see if I like it. But today I'll be filming all of my footage on this camera. I wanna show you the size of it. Nope, I'm not gonna show you. You have to tell me if you wanna see, okay? That'll be another video. Okay, sneak peek, because it's tiny, look at it. I love that, it's the mirrorless. I got the silver because it was like $200 cheaper. Isn't that crazy, like when you go car shopping? Look at the size difference. And we're gonna see if it holds up to my ADD. I would have sent this in to get it fixed, but they're like so backed up because of COVID. I was like, I'm just gonna get a new camera. <laughs> That's why I was like, I don't wanna get away expensive one. I just really need it to have good sound for you guys. 
good lighting, good audio. I just want it to be a good YouTube channel. So we're gonna test it out. I'm excited! Ah! On the computer, I first upload my video. I write my description box, input links in the video, and then input any iCards, end screens, add tags, and I've done keyword research on these words beforehand. And let me show you a peek into how I do keyword research with the title. I first typed six steps to build your online business for educators, and it has great stats, but the videos in the search results was too high, and therefore it's too competitive with it being in the millions. I want it to be closer to a thousand if I'm starting out. But we are going to go with title six steps to build your online teaching business and I could fiddle with this title to get it a bit less competitive and in the thousands but for time we are going to leave it like this just to move on I now go on to Kajabi and create my weekly email and I send it to my email list I always want to share a connection a story share humor and keep it short and sweet and to the point you want to connect with your audience nurture a relationship with them but also offer a ton of value so I'm also sticking to the topics that I teach teach, the content that resonates with my audience and that I know. Images and visuals are key in the emails because mostly people will click on images. So I always link on the images. My call to action in the email is to check out our YouTube video this week and also to enter our Instagram giveaway that ends tonight. A little hack I learned from being an affiliate for Amy Porterfield is to put a PS with the key points because some just scroll to the bottom and read. So make it easier for them. Okay, that took about an hour, but what I gotta do? Done. Let me just cross this little done. This has been on my to-do list forever. So I had to get it done before I could focus on filming. Throw those away and also to package. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go get an apple. We're gonna have a healthier snack, okay? We're starting with our TikTok. And by TikTok, I mean Instagram Reels. It's a thing now. And this is my first time ever filming them, so wish me luck. I just scripted out. I highlighted some that I like. And so I'm just going to turn them into business content or for teachers, specific for my audience. I'm super excited. It was a lot of fun. We'll see how they turn out. I hope they don't take me longer than I'm thinking in my mind. I'm like, oh, that'll be easy. You know how it's your first First time doing something it takes much longer let's see how long this takes me run two i did get my apple that's what we look like so i have two instagrams one is my shop one is my just branded so i'm gonna do the same background audio but a different storyline so the other one was to show what youtubers when they start out they think they need all the nicest equipment and they'll go and buy all the equipment don't even know if they like doing youtube <laughs> so it was share your personality serve your audience you don't need to go buy all the things <laughs> so that's what the storyline was you have to go watch it it's on hey nancy taylor for on my instagram but for the next one i'm doing it for the shop and it's gonna be that you don't have to go buy all this teacher gear but instead of being sad at the end like oh i bought all this teacher gear she's gonna have like a little bit of a smirk like <laughs> like really happy because it can also be like a mini commercial for the shop. So that's what we're doing. We upgraded our setup. <laughs> I got this light for my reels because I had sunlight coming in and so there were shadows. But now we got light on both sides. There you go, hack. A lot of wardrobe changes for this one. We're gonna do a showcase of the shirts for the shop. So I'm filming reels for the shop and also for content creators, teachers, teachers building their own brand. We've made a mess. Yeah, as you can see, I did many takes, but it's gonna play again. Ha! Ah, it's gonna play again. This is my setup. This is so much fun. If you haven't done Reels or TikToks, like, script them out, plan ahead so you don't spend all the time, but I'm having so much fun. Hey, y'all. I am just checking out for the day. We set up this beautiful background. Ta-da, ta-da. It's like one of those makeshift ones that's only for video because I hung it up with tape. <laughs> it has grommets up here. You can use push pins, but this is not my office. I am borrowing this office, so I'm not going to push pins in the wall. So I'm gonna take this down, hang it back up tomorrow. I'm going to film my footage in the morning for YouTube. So my YouTube footage will be out and about. We sent to the editor. I was just going to say, the part that takes the longest with the videos, honestly, is finding the keywords, the scripting, is that work that's already done. So I just need to sit down and film it. Now when I sit down and film it, Yes, you have to bring energy, you have to know what your objectives are and what is the purpose of the video and have that in front of you. So tomorrow I'll be doing that in the morning and I'll share with you behind the scenes on that content creation. So this is not just one day of content creation, it will be two. Just know that when you have a workload and you're like, ah, oh, did I get all that done? It's good to know that it will still be there in the morning. I remember I had a principal and he said, you know what, the work will be here in the morning when you get back. <laughs> be there at like 7 p.m. as a first year teacher. What was I doing? I don't know. We are going to leave the work. Look at all this chaos. Yep, that's all the filming. 
So I'm going to be filming right here. This will be my background, Ta -ding! but it will be on my new camera. I'm back. I said the next day, it's been two weeks. I got sick, so I didn't upload any videos. And so I am now filming. Here's my setup, da -da -da -da. lots of bright lights. I'm gonna film two videos and then if I have time, I will do three and four, but I always map out two videos. I have them all scripted, so we're going to film. Okay, we have filmed one video in this chair and we're going on to the next one. Um, I haven't lost my voice. I was sick last week, remember how that happened? So that's what we're, we're conserving the voice. I'm gonna stop talking, but I'm thinking about you. Just wanna check in and let you know that, okay? <laughs> Two videos are done and my kids are still gone with their dad, but look, it's dark. So I'm gonna film video number three and then video number four, I'm filming right now. It's you, okay? So that's how I will batch four videos. That's in one day. And then in the earlier portion of this video, it was how I was batching TikToks or reels. They're a real hot thing right now. So I create the content that is my zone of genius. That is my expertise for my brand is the content creation. I am the one that does the videos, the marketing, all that good stuff. And then I'm able to hire out and have other team members help me with what they're experts in, like organization, because I'm not an expert in that. <laughs> and I just want to show you a little bit here. That's my laptop there. And so I will use Google Drive and I'll just create documents for each video. So I script it out. Usually I have like bullet points and then talking points. I'll read that first section. I'm out of breath. I'll read that first section and then I'll film that and then I will pause my video camera Okay, and then I'll read the next section and then I'll make sure that I get those talking points Oftentimes I have them memorized like I'll have three points memorized in my head and so I can get those I want to make for easy editing So it's nice just to have clips and clumps so I cover the script, but I do not read my script I don't have a teleprompter teleprompter. I don't have that <laughs> that I'm reading my script off I like it very natural conversational, but I do like to have a script so that I can stay to those talking points and so that those that come to click on that video to gain that specific value they're not like okay wrap up whenever you jib or jabbering kind of like right now how i'm jibber jabbering jib, jab, jib, jab. all right guys thank you for joining me in this video it was such a blast taking you behind the scenes let me know if you like that peek of like what's going on like what's the work that goes on behind the scenes yes we see your face here but what's happening back there <laughs> then let me know I love to create these kind of videos that are more lifestyle I like to share with you how we balance it my kids are not here right now because my husband's watching them so I just have to give a big big thank you to my support system I would not be able to make these videos and to serve you online if I did not have help with my kids if my husband was not here to take them and to give me this time to record these videos I'm so grateful for him and I know that if you are building a brand and building a business of your own, make sure that you do let those know that support you and those that are helping you to make your dreams come true, let them know how grateful you are because truly it takes a village. It takes a village. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. I couldn't wait. My video's uploading. Click. <laughs> the battery's charging. <laughs> Question, go my bears.